another Pure Home How We Do It video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to change a couple of pre-filters on a whole home abatement HEPA purifier. Our customer in this case has the larger um, abatement air cleaner. This is called the CAP 1200. The majority of our customers, you probably have a CAP 600. So you're going to see one less filter in the top slot. So what I'm going to do is shut the unit off, the green power switch. Just flip it up and now you can hear the unit has indeed shut off. Okay, so these are the three pre-filters that go with the CAP 1200. Once again with the CAP 600, you don't have a bottom filter. Okay, in both cases, stage one and two is what we call the fiber trapper. And you can see that this filter has seen better days. It's done its job. It's designed to take out large particles. This filter you can vacuum as needed once a month. Every six months is when you change this filter. Now when you put in the fiber trapper, note that there is a little bracket here that the filter slides in. If you put the filter in the wrong way, because it's not perfectly square, it's going to stick out a little bit as it is right now. Rotate it 90 degrees so that it fits perfect. And the rule with any filter is fluffy side up, supported side, you can see the supporting mesh down. Air flows down in the abatement air clean. Okay, filter one is done. In the case of the CAP 1200, stage two is a particle filter. It's called the H502. You always install it so that you can read uh, the text, airflow down. You can see there is uh, quite a bit of load on this filter. This is designed for more uh, small particles, some ultrafine particles. Okay, and again you want to install it so that you can read what it says on the filter. Okay. In the case of the CAP 1200, the vapor lock takes uh, or the vapor lock filter, the 1002 is for the 1200 model, the VL602 is for the 600. In the 1200, this filter lasts one year. In the 600, it's in slot two and it lasts six months. Okay, so this filter has been in only for six months, so we're not going to change it today. Next step is just close the latch. And if you find your latch has been loosened, you can just tighten the black nut here a little bit. Okay, by a little bit of force, latch down, and you turn your unit back on. 